today we're going to be taking a look at what to do if you go to back up the program and it tells you that there's an error and somebody has already signed in. Let's take a look at what the message will look like. Backup is already in progress by user and in the brackets we'll display the username of the person who is supposedly still in the files. What we can do here is we're going to have to locate where the data is held um, in a network professional version that will be on the server. In, in any case, that will be under the folder Medidata. So that's what we're going to be looking for today is the Medidata folder. From within this folder, we're looking for hot backup. We can hit H on the keyboard to bring us to the top of the H's in this list. And we can find this folder here. By opening it, it will show us the user that's still in there. For demonstration purposes, we used username so that you can see what would appear here. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just delete the information out of there and go ahead and save. When it asks if you'd like to replace the file, go ahead and hit yes. It's important that we keep the file name the same. Okay, now that it's blank, we can go ahead and exit out. And from the list, go ahead and reselect hot backup and rename the file hotbackup.old. By doing this, it will keep it in the list and allow you to continue backing up the program. With this file removed, it's not uncommon that it will come back and not allow you to back up once again. By changing the file extension to .old, it keeps the file in the folder, which will remove the ability for it to recreate itself, allowing us to back up. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and found it helpful. If you did, let us know by giving us a thumbs up by clicking on the like button below. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to write those in the comment section below. And if you want to get more helpful videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks!